This is a lab counter. It contains five independent counters. Each has its own button. And this counter here is the total. Each time you press a button, this, the button presses down on this bar here, which is connected to this rod where the, normally the, a button would be for this counter. So it, as you press it down, it presses down on the uh, total button as well, as it were. Unfortunately the spring is, is broken for this bar, so you have to help it up. This wing nut at the end, that's the clearing mechanism. You have to turn it to, to, to zero like that. The wing nut at the other end, that's the clearing mechanism for all five counters at the same time. In a lab situation, you'd ha use this to count five different outcomes of samples and that normally there would be a locking mechanism in the total that causes this, this button to lock up when this reaches 100 but that has been disabled on this one. You can actually see if you turn this up to 8 there would normally be a small pin in the 8 there which is missing and that would uh, trip this uh, lock for as soon as uh, it's switched to 100. It, uh, this machine was made by the Denominator Company. That, that company was founded in New York in 1914 and the name is because their first product was a counter similar to this but with 11 counters, one for each denomination of money from one cent, nickels and dimes all the way up to $20 notes. This machine was made in around 1948. On the bottom, each of the units has a, a date stamped on it. And uh, yeah, the most legible, legible one says 1948. There's a serial number at the end there. And uh, the company still exists. It's, uh, it is still making counters like this one, but then with a more modern mechanism and a plastic uh, shell. Thank you for watching.